thousand Banshee turbocharger has been on the market for over two years but has been regulated to work only with the Subaru WRX and STI stock location platforms from 2002 to 2014. Due to increasing demand for our clients and teams that are looking for turbochargers that have much more mid-range torque and still have upper end power to work with later, STC and its wisdom decided to not only use the Banshee and the Subaru application but expand it to work with universal housings for a much more broader base for its platform. Five areas that we're using are purpose, power level and characteristics, composition, specifications, and drawbacks. Purpose of the turbocharger is really twofold. That is to work with smaller displacement engines under 1.8 liters that still want to maximize torque and still have some upper end power and at the same time still be able to work a bit better with their smaller displacement engines. For those using these as a twin set, especially in smaller displacement V8 and V6 engines, this is a slightly larger turbocharger one most would be able to use to help with good drivability and transient response and at the same time if they want to be able to turn up boost pressure to have higher upper end power over 800 horsepower, they can do so. The other idea with the Banshee turbocharger that's been expanded is to answer the dilemma between the GTX 3067R and GTX 3071R. STC has answered this call by utilizing the same aerodynamics and profiling platform that it had used with the TR3030R Velociraptor, except it's been put now into a smaller package. For power level and characteristics, we look at engine size displacement, the range that would be best be used with that displacement, power level that's going to be uh, used within that range, best effective RPM range, and boost pressure levels. So with the inline four used as a single application, this is best used for 1.6 to 2.4 liter displacement, which can make about 480 to 530 wheel horsepower, effective RPM range of 2,800 to 9,000 RPMs, and an effective boost pressure level of 14 to 25 PSI. For the inline and V6, these will be expected to be used as a twin set. These are for the 2.5 to 3.4 liter categories that can make about anywhere from 680 to 750 wheel horsepower, an effective RPM range of 2,500 to 7,500 RPMs with an effective boost pressure range of about 9 to 24 PSI. For the V8 category, this is specific for 4 liter to 6.2 liter category in which they would make about 650 to 850 wheel horsepower, 1,500 to 7,000 RPM range with a great boost pressure level that's very low which is about 6 to 20 PSI. Again, this is to work on transient response to work best with maximizing torque for larger displacement engines, at the same time being able to have upper end power when needed. For smaller displacement engines, this is a great street turbo to be able to utilize up to 500 wheel horsepower without having to worry about changing to a different turbocharger two and three different times. If you wonder if we'd be able to look at this in detail, you would be able to have here the similarities between the Banshee and the TR3030R. The Banshee here, shown with our compressor cover coating compared to our TR3030R which has been ever popular for over three years. The differences are rather obvious in terms of physical size but it's not as obvious as one would be able to expect. Compressor cover is about seven to seven and a half inches with a four inch inlet and two inch outlet and an internal velocity stack for the TR3030R. The Banshee is a slightly bit smaller package using the same TO4B package that's used in the Silver Surfer and Hunter it's using a standard 2.75 compressor inlet and 2 inch outlet. As you can see though, the similarities in the compressor wheel is a 7 splitter blade design, which is using a very large exducer and extended tip for both of these particular designs, so that it still allows for a lot more ingestion of air, transient response, and really be able to create good torque, but not so much of an initial bite as you would one with a slightly smaller turbocharger. The similarities are going to be mainly in terms of the turbine wheel because both the TR3030R and the Banshee share the M111 60mm turbine wheel that's shared with the GT3076R, GTX 3067R, and the GTX 3071R. The great part about this is the fact that if one already has one of those particular turbos and they want to upgrade or downgrade, there's not going to be a change in the turbine housing unless they want to. So you can be able to fit this particular cartridge with this double bubble shield to be able to work in your GT3076R. The difference of course is going to be in terms of the top end power based upon the compressor wheels of both. While the TR3030R can maximize at about 570 wheel horsepower, the Banshee is going to maximize at about 520 to 530 wheel horsepower. 
mid-range torque is going to be found a lot more easily though in the Banshee than you would with the TR3030R, especially if you're a smaller displacement under 2 liters. For the composition of the turbo, it's very simple. This is still using the same TO4B compressor cover shared with the Silver Surfer and Hunter. This is using our T6 7075 aluminum compressor wheel from Speedtrap. This is using a full Garrett, genuine Garrett ball bearing cartridge using a 7 16 by 24 inlet and 14 millimeter water fittings that are required for the turbocharger. And on the end, of course, there's going to be the uh, GT flange style. If you compare this really to that of size, this is a GTX 2860RS. In terms of physical size and fitment in terms of the engine bay, they are extremely similar. In fact, you could be able to swap out the entire turbocharger from a GTX 2860RS to a Banshee with very little change in fitment. Same inlet, same outlet. Of course, the GTA, GTX actually has an internal port or shroud, while the Banshee does not. We have found that with this 11 blade uh, single set compressor wheel, it's a lot more for the initial bite and initial spool up response that many are looking for. But it does max out mid range pretty early in the RPM band, unlike the Banshee, which can extend itself by over about 1200 RPMs. The difference, of course, is going to be the turbine wheel. The turbine wheel of the GTX 2860 is actually a lot smaller at 54 millimeter versus the and 111 60 millimeter of the Banshee. This also means that you have to change turbine housings if you decide to upgrade to this particular turbocharger. The great part about this turbo, however, is the fact that where this one is going to have its torque maximized in the mid range up to about 5,000 RPMs, with this larger exhaust wheel and the profile of the compressor wheel, it'll extend itself out to at least another two to 2,500 RPMs more. So we're looking at more top end power still great mid-range and very little spool change up compared to the GTX 28 series but there is a difference. Specifications of this turbocharger are as follows. If I were to describe the inlet and outlet, the T6 7075 aluminum wheel has a 72.3 millimeter exducer and is about 55 pounds per minute. This is using a Garrett cartridge in which this is now the new ceramic silicone hybrid cartridge style and not the steel ball bearing cartridge of years past. Garrett felt that this particular package was a bit more aerodynamic, a bit easier to work with less rotational mass because now you're using ceramic instead of steel, a bit better durability because of the fact that the ceramic hybrid can be able to take the additional heat transfers that are going to be needed for this and at the same time you still have the same reliability that's known with Garrett. For the inlet here you're looking at 7 16 by 24 uh, thread pitch. Anything that's going to go over 40 pounds of oil pressure needs to have a 30 thousandths restrictor. The 14 millimeter water ports that are shown here are definitely going to be required as opposed to optional like you would with the journal bearing series. And of course underneath you're going to use the same GTR series uh, style flange that's used in many of the GT30 and 28 series platforms. The turbine wheel, as we said, is the standard 60 millimeter profile. This is not shared with anything from the journal bearing series or even the GTW series. So you want to be careful and make sure that any turbine housing that you have had to be coming from a GT or GTX series in a 30R family in order to be able to switch with it. But it does make allow the possibility to use different housings for this particular turbo. What are the drawbacks? There are really only two particular drawbacks. One is the fact that now that's one more option that people have to be able to do to make when they have to decide whether or not they want something that's more transient response, more mid-range, or more top-end. The great part about the Banshee, and we've answered to that, especially with its competitor GTX 3067R, is the fact that now you've got a slightly larger compressor wheel that can really take a bit more power up front than the GTX 3067. The exducer for the GTX 3067 is of course about 67 millimeters, while this one is 72.3 millimeter. This is a great turbocharger, actually for a very reasonable price and can be able to be upgraded and downgraded in platforms that already exist or can be bought as new. The GT3000 Banshee is a great way to be able to expand from someone that's using something that came from the Subaru and WRX family into much more multiple platforms. Take care and happy boosting.